What's going on, y'all? I got another reaction video. A link is down in the description to the original video. Here we go. Kamala Harris pulled up on the National Association of Black Journalists, and it was a disaster of an interview, but we don't want to go through the whole 40-something minute interview. Uh, I'm going to just give y'all a quick summary. I want to go over to a specific part. Let's see if we can find it really quickly. Too generational, and it's just slaughter. Young people who are attending a, a concert, women were horribly raped self-determination and is it even possible as israel's ally well absolutely of israel we need to war. get this deal done and we need to get it done immediately and that is the, my position I can't stand this lady it wasn't enough that this administration your possible administration has to do more well we are right do oh man call her out bro call her out action to create this commission or do you believe that it should happen in congress well, oh, that's the reparations all, debate. We don't want to I talk about just, that yet. I'm going to save that one. Field, <laughs> Ohio, and what's happening yeah. there. We've seen school closures. Yeah. Parents worried about their kids. All right, so we, this is, let me set this up for y'all. Let me set this up. <clears throat> I don't want to spend no more than about 10, 12 minutes on this, but I'm going to. All right. Up to y'all really quickly. So, obviously, Kamala Harris pulled up months after uh, Trump was basically lambasted for y'all. I don't want to spend no more than about 10, 12 minutes on this, but I'm going to set this up for y'all really quickly. So, obviously Kamala Harris pulled up months after J uh, Trump was basically lambasted at the Na National Association of Black Journalists. Mm. I wonder if yeah. we got a National Association of White Journalists. Or Hispanic Journalists. Here nor there. Uh, she pulls up for an interview, disaster of an interview, talked about multiple different things, which she had word salad. Uh, but I want to talk about this one thing in particular because this is a popular issue. Right. And it's the migrant crisis in Springfield, Ohio. Let's do it. We've never heard her say Lake and Riley's name. We've, we've never heard her address Springfield, Ohio. We've never seen her address what happens in Denver, Aurora, Chicago, New York. Houston, right, right, right. Los Angeles. What do we got? And then now spreading out across America. So we've never heard her address the migrant crisis at all because I believe that she played a role. Uh, and it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Open, keeping the borders open in order to have unprecedented access to migrants flowing into. The it's embarrassing, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like we're just, this is only broadcasted. What's happening over there, as far as the the dogs and the cats, Kamala Harris, her her being the borders are and all that stuff. This is just there's stuff that are going on that it is going unseen by by migrants. It it is just the tip of the iceberg, bro. Illegally, mm -hmm. right? So the journalists. But the Afro is going to ask a question. He got an Afro. He got two bracelets on. Right, right. He's going to ask a question. He's a homie. Kamala Harris <laughs> about the Springfield, Ohio situation and the Haitian migrant situation. And she's going to answer the question. All right, let's rock. I, dude, I would be surprised if she doesn't answer the question and she sounds like another fluffy politician. Leaving the home because of racist conspiracy theories that I won't repeat here, but they have been repeated by um, leaders on um, the Republican side, President Trump, um, Vice President, um, excuse me, former President Trump Vice, <laughs> and Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance. From your perspective, is this just a case of irredeemable racism that can't be mitigated by any rational action? Or is this a situation in which a federal response could help this community heal? There's a question of resources and... Um, Was she confused with the question? She didn't understand what the question... <laughs> yeah, bro, as far as I know, she's just thinking about what she's going to say. She's not even listening to this guy. Us. Well, no, I, 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 I'll let you finish, and then I'll speak. No comes. It's Chief. a crying shame. I mean, my heart breaks for this community. You know, there were um, children, elementary school children. Mm, there we go. Who? It was. It was school photo day. You remember what that's like? Oh, shut up, lady. She's gonna go round and round, bro. What, 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 what this makes me think about is this lady. She's making a, she's making y'all look like a fool, dude. She's making, she's making all y'all Democrats look like, look like idiots. You're gonna let her do that to you? She's poking you in the eyes, dude. She's, she's going like that to your eyes. Do you like the way that feels? 
I could tell Anton's already fed up. I would be too, man. Let me play I am. y'all her response again. For those that's in the back, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Photo day. It was... It was... Look at her face, photo dude. Photo day. You remember what that's like? Yeah, I can't do it either, bro. I can't stand it. School photo day. What the, what is she talking? What is Kamala Harris talking about? School photo day. Who cares? Just get to the point. Answer the man's question. Stop making him look like a fool. Stop making yourself look like a fool, Kamala Harris. It's embarrassing. Who? It was. It was school photo day. You remember what that's she, like? She's make dude. Go on she really is making us making y'all look like a fool. If y'all believe this lady, if y'all want her to be president, she's gonna make you look like a fool. On picture day. Give me a second, y'all. Just, just, just bear with me. All right. This is this is hard. Yeah, it is. It is. This is hard for me. I hear you, bro. So really, really. I'm, and I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to understand it. I'm trying to see what the appeal is. The, I'm trying to capture it. I'm trying to understand. What, hey, what do we see? Why does everybody, why are they still vote for? What do you see in her? Exactly. Exactly. Not a damn, not a darn thing, bro. She's, for all I know, like I said, she's making you all look like a fool. She's poking you in the, in the eyes and you're taking it. You're taking it. Who are dressed up in their best, got all ready, knew what they were going to wear the night before. Shut up, lady. And had to be evacuated. Children. Children. <sighs> um, a whole community put in fear. And I'll say a couple things about it. Um, one, you know, I learned a long time ago. In my this lady has no feelings. Having a Trying to portray feelings and having no feelings. Forget that. Brown as a prosecutor. When you have these positions, when you have that kind of microphone in front of you, you really ought to understand at a very deep level. Let me, let me, let me. She's such a narcissist, bro. In here. A couple different things that I want to get into before we really address this, all right? Right. First thing that I want y'all to do is the likes is, is really low. It's over 4,100 people in there on YouTube below. The likes is really low. Get the likes up. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, just want to remind my moderator, shout out to all of my great minds. Shout out to your car. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat. Uh, we don't operate in an echo chamber, so we may have differences of opinion. Some people going to disagree with me. Some people going to agree with me. Uh, just, and I'm not saying that anybody has been timed out or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But as long as nobody is getting overly disrespectful, talking about somebody's mama or grandkids or something like Kick that. Kick them out. Anybody that disagrees, anybody got a difference, difference of opinion, even if they're passionate about it. Be respectful it, about it. Them out, don't silence them. Let them get it off. We welcome differences of opinions over here. So right. if you love Kamala, say that. If you don't, say that. Right. Chat is is an extension of the show. This woman is miserable. With that being said, she's absolutely miserable. I agree. Get her full response. I agree. We're going to come back. How much your words have meaning. I learned at a very young stage of my career. We don't care. The meaning we of want the answer could impact whether somebody was free or in prison. As Attorney General, I was a, of California. What about Vice President? What'd you do as Vice President? The economy in the world. I was acutely aware that my words could move markets. What about as Vice President? When you are bestowed with a microphone that is that big. It's only 1,600, almost 1,700 likes. We need to get the likes up, y'all. There is a profound responsibility that comes with that. That is an extension of what should not be lost in this moment, this concept of the public trust. To then understand what the public trust means. It means that you have been invested with trust. Fast forward this what? lady, dude. What is she talking Fast about? Fast forward this lady, dude. She's she's well, not saying anything. She's, saying, she's not saying anything. It means that then understand what the public trust means it means that you have been invested with trust 
She doesn't know what she's saying, bro. She's trying to figure out what she's saying as she's saying it. She does not know what is going on, dude. She does not know what is going on. Why are y'all voting for this woman? Exactly. Why is she even being a consideration? Right. How is it? It she was. She of- wasn't even voted on, dude. We didn't, the people didn't even vote for her to be in that spot to be possibly president. Nobody voted for her. Fairies out there. Got to be a bunch of fairies, a bunch of fraud. I don't want no election interference that's happening out here. No way that y'all sitting here listening to this woman. The right. question is, with regards to Springfield, Ohio, and everything that's happening over there with the migrant crisis, mm-hmm. the question is, why did you open up the borders in the first place? How did they get there? How did they decide to travel to Springfield, Ohio? Right. Answer it. 20,000 of them get there in less than a year. And, and then they registered for school. They got driver's license. They got clothes, shoes, started businesses. Talking, dude. Anton's, Anton's answering her question more than she is. She's not even saying nothing, bro. From If they coming from a war-torn country where barbecue was basically thrown. How did they start to wake up so fast? That's the question that we want to know. I don't care about... Anton for vice president, baby. I don't care about what's... Do you know what public trust means? It means that they've invested in you with trust. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> right. I want somebody to ask the, the question. Please, anybody, somebody, if you get a microphone, ask the question. Yes. Ask the question. How did they get here? Why did y'all leave the borders open right. in the first place? Before 2000... 2000- right, bro. You, you're smarter than that. If you're on that panel, you, you should be asking that question. Why don't you do it? Why don't you ask those questions to this this to Kamala Harris? Why are you intimidated by her? She's making you look like a fool. I'm telling you. 23 in 2022 and 2021 when we were supposed to be in a pandemic. How did they get over here? How? Somebody ask the question. Anybody. Somebody. Mm. Somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody. If you get a microphone, you. Anybody that's watching this, if you get a microphone and you got an opportunity to ask a question, ask it. Please. Just for me. Just for me. Just for me, just ask the what question. What happened? What happened? Well, what, I'm oh, asking this question. Man. I don't remember what he said, but I- to be responsible in the way you use your words, much less how you conduct yourself. She's, and especially, she's attacking the people that are answering the question, bro. She's gaslighting them. She's a narcissist, dude. Straight up. When you have been and then seek to be again president oh, shut up. of the United States of America. Jesus Christ. Right. And so I go back to it's a crying shame, literally. <laughs> What's happening to those families? A crying in shame. In that community, not to mention what is happening in terms of, look, you say you care about law enforcement, law enforcement resources. What? Being put you the president. You the, you the vice president. Exactly. Man, I, I can't do this, y'all. I've already done a couple of videos on the on Kamala Harris's response, answering questions. Check them out. I can't do the rest of this, y'all. You can watch the rest of this video. There's a link in the description down below. Unbelievable, dude. She's making y'all look like a fool. She's poking you in the eyes. She's gaslighting you. Dude, I, don't take it. Don't stand for that. Dude, stand up and be like, no, lady, you didn't answer the question. Salute Anton Daniels. This is actually on the Millionaire Morning Show with Anton Daniels. Like, subscribe, and share to his content if you like his content. Like, subscribe, share to this content. Stay tuned for some more reaction videos. Thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Have a good one. Bye.